So we got a nice, super clear, beautiful morning. Uh, we're gonna try to get some panels up if we can before the uh, heat gets too too much. And then we'll probably head down the road and start getting some firewood. We got a whole bunch of trees that fell over the winter this year and last year. And we're gonna go clear them all out and cut them down so we can get them seasoned for firewood. Uh, and also to get them off the sides of the road so the uh, water doesn't start backing up and stuff. So anyway, before it gets too hot, let's uh, give this an attempt. Toasty. All right, there's one whole column or row, depends on how you want to look at it, but they are all, these four are wired in series. So I've got a wire at the top and wire at the bottom that I'll have to extend around to get down to the uh, charging solar charger, but we'll do that later. Next, we're going to do that other row. Not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Um, this one will be a little trickier because I've got this one in the way. So I'm going to figure out how to leave a gap that I can walk down. The end pieces, there's this extra little bracket there to help support the, because there's no other panel there to help support that bolt. So we had to put those in, um, but they work great. So, all right, on to the next one.
row or column, however you want to call it. Eight out of 10 done. Now I just got to put the two we have left on this rail set. And then, as I said before, we'll have an expansion for two more panels when we're ready to add them, uh, probably before winter. So we get the extra wattage uh, over the cloudy season. And then uh, in the long run, we do have another set of rails so we can add up to four more panels if we have to. All right, let's do the last two. There we go, took us, uh, we took a little bit of a break to get something to drink, but uh, so if I take that out, just a barely over an hour to get all 10 of those up onto the rails, you know, haul them up there and they're not super uh, lightweight. I mean, they're not super heavy, but they're so big and awkward, it's just a little difficult, but it was easier than we thought it was gonna be. So those are all up. So the next step uh, after it cools down, maybe this evening or in the morning, uh, I don't wanna be on the roof right now because the shingles are scalding hot. Uh, we'll run the wiring from each row so each row's in series, and then we'll run that straight across to the far side where we'll do a roof penetration down into the electrical cabinet. So we're gonna run a, about a two inch hole through the roof uh, to run a pipe up, and we'll have all the cables from the panels traverse down through the roof, uh, down through the soffits into that electrical cabinet. So I drilled a pilot hole. It's actually in the perfect spot, except when I look at how it lines up with the cabinet, I want to actually move it up maybe a couple feet. But uh, left to right, it was perfect. I didn't hit any trusses and I got enough clearance. So I'm gonna seal that hole and then we're gonna take a two inch bit and punch a hole through there and see if we don't screw it up. So I got the roof penetration in and the pipe in. I didn't actually quite hit where the electrical cabinet was inside the soffits. I missed it by, I don't know, an inch, of course. Angles are hard. Anyways, that's fine. Uh, what I did is uh, inside the soffit area, I can just open it there, run the cables out and go through, you know, into the next pipe because it's really just about, you know, keeping it all neat and tidy. So uh, it should be totally fixable. Um, you know, because penetrating the roof is the most important part and I don't want to change that because I drilled a big hole in it, but actually it'll work good. So we got the pipe in. Uh, I've not PVC'd any of the parts together yet because I want to be able to run all the wires in. Uh, it'll be easier than trying to make the, the 180 degree turn here uh, with being able to pull that off. So uh, we'll do that as soon as we run the wires. So now I'll go down to the electrical cabinet, drill the hole into that, and uh, we should have a path all the way through. I mostly did it this way because it was just all stuff I had. The uh, flashing pipe piece, piece came with the uh, roofing materials. So I had that and I had two inch PVC hanging around uh, from another project, had a bunch of it. So I was like, well, instead of going and trying to buy all the parts to do this with some fancy way, I'll just use this because goal is to get the wires through and keep the water out. So this should work good. All right, we wrapped up the uh, electrical cabinet. Came out pretty good. I uh, just finished trimming it all out so it matches the rest of the building. And we got the, uh, all the interior walls are insulated. Next thing we'll be doing is uh, punching a hole through the top end of it so we can get to the pipe we put in uh, and run all the solar panel wires down. Now that the 
cabinets done and all the insulations in there, I can start moving all the electronics from the old location in the storage container into here and then bring batteries up and hook it all up. So we are really close. Getting to be early afternoon, we'll probably have some lunch and then head out of here because it's supposed to be in the mid to high 90s today. So we'll head there somewhere cooler. Uh, we'll be back a week or so and hopefully have the batteries with us and be able to wire all this up and get it up and running, which is super cool. So till then, talk to you soon. Shaping up to be a beautiful day.